Here are five things that any investor can add to their daily routine that's gonna help them become a better investor. And no matter what financial status you're at, whether you're just beginning as an investor or maybe you're already a seasoned investor and you're making your 10th million or your 100th million, these are things that you can definitely add to your routine, which I believe are going to make you more efficient, more profitable. And at the end of the day, you're just going to have a more enjoyable life. So the first one for me is to always start out my day with some sort of physical stress. What that means is not stress in your mind. It's not stress in your body. You have to have relaxing sleep. But when you wake up, you start your day by pushing your body a little bit. There are different schools of thought. Some people like to start their day calm and then they end their day with stress, physical stress, meaning they go to the gym in the evening or they play a sport or something. But for me personally, it works out best to do that at the beginning of my day because it's really like a jump start to my day. It gets my blood flowing. It really wakes my body up and I'm ready for the day. Now that I've taken care of all the hard things in the morning, the physically hard things, that sets my mind right for the rest of the day because I pushed myself at the gym. Maybe I broke a record. Maybe I did something that I didn't know I could do. Now I'm in that winner's mindset, that champion's mentality going into the rest of the day. So it really helps me both mentally and physically. And you feel great for the rest of the day. Now, some people may disagree and they prefer to go to the gym in the evening and that's totally fine. I think it's totally up to your personal preference. Whatever works for you is probably gonna be something that you should incorporate into your day because if it doesn't work for you and you can't stay consistent with it, it's not even worth implementing it into your day. But for me, physical stress in the morning to start my day, that works out well. Now, the second thing, is meditation and this for me is actually at the end of the day so it's not an order it's not like i wake up i do physical stress then i, I calm myself down no meditation is actually at the end of my day and it can look very very different from day to day sometimes maybe it's reading a book and just thinking processing the things that happen during that day sometimes it's journaling sometimes maybe it's just writing music or playing guitar or piano whatever it might be that's my form of meditation that allows me to kind of wrap up what happened in that day Think about things that I could have done better. What did I do wrong? What did I do well? I can kind of recap my day, think about it, process it. And once it's fully processed, then I'm ready to think about maybe the next day, right? So during that time of meditation and planning, I can think about my next day. Okay, tomorrow I need to accomplish X, Y, and Z, my top three priorities for that day. They're planned the day before. I don't wake up and in the morning I'm scrambling, oh no, what am I gonna do today? No, I've planned this out the day before. I know exactly what I'm gonna be doing that next day and that allows me to be super, super efficient. Now I know, hey, once I've accomplished one, two, and three, everything else is just a bonus. And that allows me to consistently chip away at my to-do list and I'm accomplishing those big things. And then I still have enough time, usually enough time to go on to the fourth and the fifth and the sixth thing on my to-do list. The third thing that I believe that allows me to be a better investor is actually eating healthy. Now I know this doesn't sound like financial advice, but eating healthy is probably the best financial advice you'll ever get because guess what? If you make a billion dollars or a hundred billion dollars, whatever that number is for you, and you're 70 years old and you can't walk and you're in a wheelchair and you really have to have somebody take care of you, you can't even enjoy your life. Well, what is that 100 billion worth? I would much rather enjoy everything that I've built, the empire that I've built, the family, the relationships, the money, everything. I'd rather enjoy that in good health. And so in order to set myself up for success, I have to take care of my health every single day, right? And it doesn't start when you're successful, it starts right now so wherever you are right now make today the day that you start to decide make today the day that you start eating healthy and eating healthy does not necessarily mean it has to be gross you can eat good meals and they can still be healthy now just being conscious of what you're putting into your body just don't put junk food into your body as a general rule and you're probably going to be better off than the people who are putting junk food in their body so Healthy eating, very, very important to me. Now, do I still eat unhealthy things sometimes? Yes, I love a little Chick-fil-A in my life here and there, but for the most part, I love to stick to a diet that is just cleaner, it's healthier, and it allows me to feel better during the day as well. So I feel more energized. I love not feeling like I'm about to fall asleep after lunch. I love getting a rush of energy and not having to take a nap. So eating healthy can really, really make a big difference, and that's gonna impact your whole day, right? If you're feeling better, you're more energetic, you have a better outlook, look on life and I believe that it can actually make you a more profitable and a more successful person in general whether that's investing or business or whatever it is that you do I believe eating healthy plays a big role in your success the fourth thing is practice right so whatever it is that you do whether you're a marketer or a salesperson or maybe a copywriter whatever it is maybe a photographer you have to practice what you do 
And by practicing, that means just doing the thing, right? You can't just expect yourself to get better by not practicing. I love to practice the things that I'm good at every single day. So if I'm good at trading or investing or analyzing deals, I make sure I do it over and over and over again. And here's the key. You have to find something that you're passionate about, because if you're not passionate enough to do this every single day for the next 10 years, then it's not even worth starting. You have to find something that you love so much that you're so passionate about that you can stay consistent every single day. That's the only way that you can be successful. If you do anything long enough, you're going to be successful at it. It really doesn't matter what you do. You can choose to be a doctor. You can choose to be a photographer, videographer, copywriter, salesperson. I promise you, if you practice that thing every single day, you're going to get good at it and you're going to become successful at it. So choose something that you're passionate about, because if you're doing something that you don't really like and you do it every single day, guess what? You're going to get good at it, but, but your quality of life just isn't going to be there and you're not going to enjoy living that life because, hey, I'm really good at this one thing, but I hate my life every single day because I hate doing this one thing that I just happen to be really good at. Make sure you're doubling down on the things that you're passionate about, that you love and get better at them every single day. And finally, networking. So now you've set yourself up for success. You're practicing that thing that you're good at and you're actually getting kind of good now. Hey, Every time I play piano, people tell me, wow, like you're actually really good at piano. Wow. Okay, great. So now that I know I have the skill playing piano or investing or trading or whatever it is, I'm going to go network with other people who are really good at something else. Those people, their talents and their skills and their abilities, they're complementary to what I'm doing, right? So if I'm a professional photographer, I'm going to go find people who, hey, maybe this guy's a great editor or maybe this girl's a great videographer, right? They're really good at that one thing because you know what? They practiced it every single day and they got really, really good at doing this one specific thing. And I'm really good at doing this one specific thing. So if we can collaborate, if we can do a project together, maybe we can combine efforts and do something really, really cool. Cool. The only way that I'm going to find out about those relationships is through networking. So I always prioritize networking events, finding people who are like minded or doing the things that I'm doing and connecting with them to see if there's any way that I can add value to their life. And maybe we can even work on a project together. All right, guys, make sure you do these five things in your life to become a more successful investor, businessman, entrepreneur, and I'll see you all on the next video.